before i start today i just want to say hello and give a shout out to michael jacob or is it jacob he commented on instagram just saying that it's a really cool idea of the unboxing videos that i'm making he said that he has binge watched all of the videos and that he loves how annoyed i get whenever i see some of the crooked values that insidium sets up for the parameters i'm glad that these videos are very entertaining to you michael today we have the ocean the former project file example and just to help out with the idea that this is an actual unboxing i made a box i'm gonna go ahead and open this box i'm going to select it go to polygon mode and then select the top face tap k tap k again so we are in the line cut i'm gonna go ahead click and drag it and make our cut right there press escape go to points mode select all of the points right click uh disconnect and i'll go back to my polygon so i can select the face and let me move this one and the other one go back to object mode and here is what we have so the first thing that we see is just the paperwork this is the the notes that come with the project whenever you decompress it uh, we have the title which in the former the compatibility and the company's um copyright i believe um trademark whatever this is it's telling you that you can use this uh with cinema 4d r16 to r23 they are asking for x particles x95 and cycles for the 509 which i believe to those are the latest versions available uh and that is pretty much it it's just some paperwork so let's go ahead and put it aside the next thing that we have is just um another example of how the render is supposed to look like uh they're telling us that if if I just press uh, render on cycles 4D, this is what we're gonna get without moving anything on the parameters, anything on the materials. This is how it's supposed to work right out of the box. So let's hope that that is the case. And yeah, th there's nothing on the back. So let's go ahead and move that as well. Um, the next thing on our box, um, let's click on here and then let's move this. Um, it will be our project so let me just grab the whole box delete it since we have done everything for the unboxing i'll save the render just so we can compare it uh and i'll delete the notes but there you go that is our project file as you can see um it's a pretty dense mesh that we're gonna come up with we have uh the insidium logo i think this is an actual deformer and we have one light and that is what is included in this package so i'll go to the object and just select the camera view and now i'm going to open up the real-time preview for cycles and just move it to the side let me go ahead and render it and see what we got and there you have it as you can see our render is pretty much looking the same as the render example that they're giving us for some reason all of the examples that they put on their files are overexposed for some reason obviously the colors are not the same so actually for this one i'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs down because it it is not working right out of the box at least how they are advertising it the project came with 10 samples by default but obviously as you can see we need a couple more because we have a lot of denoising to do a lot of samples still need to take place and obviously they don't tell us which frame they took this screenshot on so i cannot really compare them so this is what i'm getting and that's what they advertise so no it's not working right out of the box all right and just like any project we have the insidium tag we have a camera the x pieces System and then the lighting and environment i'll go ahead and hide the lighting and environment as well as the camera i'll go to xp system and just deactivate the icon on the viewport and there you have it we only have a generator with the spline a deform ocean no with the xp ocean a cube and a spline wrap that's interesting there's no modifiers no dynamics no emitters okay that is pretty cool let's go see i have no idea how this is working so i'm just gonna deactivate all of them and just start with the spline i didn't know you could create a spline with the generator let's see xp 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 well they probably just made it with the pen tool and just put it there so at the very core of this animation is just going to be the spline 
and this is what's gonna give the ocean the path the next thing that we have is just the xp ocean and before i activate it i'm just gonna click on it and this is actually the first time that i use the xp ocean so let's go ahead and see what kind of parameters we have the first one is just the type right now it's set to the former but we can set it on primitive uh there's a displacement space yeah you can set it either to local the world object surface we can control the wave height and the time scale as well as the type of the noise the resolution i'm assuming that's the mesh the mesh resolution the seed and oh that's cool you can create a looping uh with this looping activation uh set up the looping time we have the ocean size the smallest wave choppiness ocean depth when speed uh okay let's go ahead and just activate this xp ocean don't see anything but it is set to the former so i'm gonna go ahead and activate this cube with the deformer and there you have it we just have back or ocean oh that was easy there is kind of like choppiness at the beginning but oh wow and it's also creating like a very dense mesh let's try how the animation looks okay that is very slow i'm probably gonna have to cache this or oh we can also move down the resolution uh let's do 128 just so we don't have that much problem with this first play okay that's a bit better but it is still struggling it's a lower resolution and we also have uh bigger waves let's try on the slow on the smallest okay even bigger waves it's still pretty choppy as you can see the mesh density is still pretty high i think what the resolution is is just like how many waves we have um let me go ahead and save it and let's try 4k go back to the beginning oh yeah that's some high quality ocean yep 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 well it looks like mountains of course uh let's try to change the noise type so tessendorf is what it came with let's try luca oh okay completely different thing completely different thing and i i cannot change the resolution on the luca so let's try over hmm can we play it Well, why would they give you an option to change the noise type if it doesn't look like an ocean anymore <laughs> let's see maybe i'm not using the right one. Oh, here it is we can choose a shader and the shader we can actually pick a noise let's go to noise okay nice see let's make it electric okay yeah yeah so now we actually have more control we can actually change the global scale let's do 50 maybe um probably maybe wavy turbulence kind of like stretching it out on the x-axis there a way to change the projection base uv texture object the world camera screen raster okay let's go back to the original noise type which is tessendorf Tessendorf. and this seems to be our formula for the ocean uh under the generator we have the spline and then we have a no group with the xp ocean with the cube and the spline wrap itself there's nothing special about the spline wrap um nor the cube the cube does have a cycles attribute and that seems to have a xp foam map uh, but we'll see that on the rendering and also it comes with this uh beach water material so we'll also take a look at that uh, once we start rendering but i'm gonna go to the xp ocean and just reduce that resolution just so we can probably play around with the shape of the cube let's see if we can actually just move this on real time yep so this whole thing is parametric we can control it on real time and we're still gonna get some pretty good results as you can see i can move this on real time and i'm not having much difficulty i mean also i reduced the resolution but it's pretty much parametric i'll try and create a different kind of spline let's use a circle do it on the xz plane and i'll add that to the spline wrap instead of the spline and there you go it's pretty much that easy there is a line of division i think that's where it's ending or something like that uh last thing i'm gonna try is just like set up a sphere instead of a cube and that sphere is looking kind of weird i don't know what's actually affecting that it seems that the ocean is acting as a deformer in a way I, I don't really know how this works so let me add that spline wrap to be a child of the sphere instead of a cube and just take out the cube and now we have kind of like a torus 
shape maybe make this sphere a bit bigger uh i don't think that's how that works but that's fine i just wanted to experiment go back to the xp ocean and just increase that resolution so we can get a little bit more detail but so far so good it seems that it's pretty easy to create this um xp ocean there's not much needed to create the surface and just create the waves pretty much everything just happens by itself so let's go ahead and check out how this is actually rendering so i'm gonna open the real-time preview just dock it here on the side there's nothing showing because our lighting and environment are off so let me activate both of them as you can see we have a soft box we have a plane which is just the the floor of our scene and then we also have a landscape and right now they're hitting but let's activate it just so you can see it and okay yeah this is what's showing inside of the ocean and actually both of them since they're hitting on the editor they both have a cycles 4d composition tag and as you can see the camera is deactivated so when i render this you can see that the landscape is actually underneath the water and it just makes it look like if there was sand or something like that and if i delete those cycles 4d tags and just render it again you can see that the sand it is there and the uh, landscape is there as well the cycles 4d tag is in a way giving us a masking method the camera itself is not going to see the landscape but through the material through the diffuse glossiness and transmission and all that we're able to see the landscape underneath the water we also have a cycles for the environment with uh, an hdr texture and i think this already comes with the project file as well okay so let me go to that cube and let's look at this uh cycles for the attribute expression which right now has a foam map the only way that i've created foam before is through an emitter and then creating that uh foam based on the emitter so i don't really know how this xp foam map is working and the next thing i'm going to look at is just the beach water material and here's the material wow this is actually kind of complicated okay so let, let's just break it down okay so for the surface we have a mixed shader and if we follow the shader number one we have another mixed shader okay and the first shader of that shader is an add shader which is another mix shader <laughs> what's going on okay so the first of that shader it's just a refraction bsdf it is white so kind of like a white glass material it's got a bump map and it's using this mix rgb overlay to mix noise texture what is going on <laughs> Okay, the other shader is just the glossy bsdf with the fresnel going back to the second mix shader we got a transparent material okay the factor is this math multiply and then a light path node i've never seen this before this is some pretty advanced material making <laughs> i have no idea what's going on uh for the second shader we have a principal bsdf with the title foam uh i know it has specular I know it has roughness it's got some emission and that is coming from this attribute foam map oh last thing we have is just the volume and here we go we finally have some color i can at least play around with the color right let's try and make it let's say yellow yellow no let's try and make a pink make a pink ocean and there you have it now this has become a donut tutorial the last thing i want to check is this uh attribute again it says that it's an xp foam map but i don't know where it's getting that from as far as i know we have to go to dynamics and then the xp foam map is right here but it did not come with it because as you can see the xp foam needs an emitter and we're just not using any emitters that i know of ah here we go foam map so let's activate that there you go that's the foam it looks kind of weird because that's not actually how the foam is going to work but i'm sure it's going to come in handy once you create like a scene like on the shore and you want the foam to like just show whenever the water is like landing on the shore as you can see you can control the threshold the decay you can make it smoother but since we don't really have a shore i'm just gonna go Go ahead and deactivate that foam map and there you have it our xp ocean has a deformer type mode and in this case is using the cube that i wrapped around the circle using the spline wrap it's deforming the cube with this uh tessendorf noise type and just giving us the option to add more resolution or just more waves to the top and the bottom of the cube as well as just giving us a bit more control on how the animation is going to play out for those waves and at the end of the day the ocean is just a big volume so it's just giving us more control over that and it's just a good option to have just so you can create um, oceans of any form you know
I don't think there's much to do with the materials. Maybe you can change it to pink for that pink ocean. But any other color, this is just gonna make it look like jello. So if you want to make this look like an ocean, definitely just like use like a blue tone, blue hue. And the power of this is just gonna be able to create those unconventional uh, ocean shapes. So that's what I'm gonna be doing and just creating a composition that I can post on social media. And because this mesh is so dense, I can't really show you the animation. It's just gonna take a while unless I can cache it, but I need to define what this is gonna look like first. So just stay tuned on my Instagram if you wanna see the final animation that I come up with. Hafid.particles is the Instagram account that I have created in order to post all of the works that come out of these unboxings once again michael i'm glad that these videos are entertaining to you i hope that you like the new unboxing experience any questions or suggestions let me know down in the comments my name is hafid and i'll see you on the next video